Ta -da. Yeah. So first add the flour, then the sugar, then the sh Okay. This is very tricky, but um, I think what you can do is just put it in there, and then once you close it, yeah, it will it it will uh, how do you say that? Spread. It will s spread itself. But we need to know how much we need to put in there. Sure, and I, and think, I think this, this is too much. This is, I think, yeah, I think, I think, so I think this is too much we're doing. But, okay. So let's take a peek. So let's take a look. Oh, look at that. I think they're good. They're very, very cute. Very, very cute. guys good morning this is just a follow-up this is a follow-up because the complete uh, first video that we made about how to make the white recipe for your Mickey waffles um, you can find a couple of videos back or you can find it in the playlist of um, uh, uh, easy recipes that we have here on this channel uh, today we were just determined to make the Mickey waffles look as, as, as sharp I mean shape wise as possible from the Mickey waffle that we have here um, that's what we're trying to do today um, if this thing ended up on our channel it means we succeeded more or less if not then not but yeah so we're not going to tell you about how to make the right batter the recipe like I said is in the video that I just mentioned um, even if the batter for this recipe that we shared with you our favorite recipe for the Wi-Fi the Mickey waffle maker is somewhat thicker you can still use one of these things to help you pour it um, gradually in the Mickey waffle maker um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the rest of the batter in here and then we're gonna share with you the right proportion the right amount of batter that you can add in here to get the Mickey waffle shape as uh, best as possible yeah so set set this thing on dark it's definitely better to set this thing on dark yeah you don't have necessary to wait for the peep that indicates that they're done because sometimes because for this recipe we've noticed that uh, that's just not how it works if you would wait for the peep to indicate that they're done that might be a little bit too long for these um, Mickey waffles longer than they need so look there they are uh, unlike the last the first time that we tried that was really our literally the first time that we, we used this thing you saw a little bit of a batter all over the place, which is, I mean, it's not a problem. I mean, it's all edible, but um, yeah, you know how it works. You always want to challenge yourself to improve your skills also with this machine. So th there you have them, perfect. So let me just get this one because it's in the light so that you can see guys. So what I do to get these perfect shapes that you don't have, you know, to do anything about, First, I just take the outlines. So just follow the outline of the Mickey head as much as, 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 you know, as much as possible, because like I said, this is somewhat thicker, better than the one they give you in the booklet. And then go to the center. While doing so, remember that it's always more than you think it will be once it falls in there. So just be careful. Just add little by little and see how uh, it develops in there so that's what I do so go for the outline first especially the ears like a true artist yeah and then the middle and again just be careful and just use your eyes to see how much you need as you go because look 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 it. it's already it's already puffing up the same thing I will do with the other side again go first for the outline and then the middle and while filling up the outlines judge with your own eyes how things are going by the way our friend Ohana on Instagram if you're watching this give your husband a big hug and a big kiss because that was really a sweet surprise to surprise you with the Mickey waffle after you guys watched our vlog 
we were really thrilled for you guys, yeah, really happy. It's so awesome. We saw it this morning and it got us a big smile, so yeah. Tin and Baz, you guys don't have the Wi-Fi, the, the, the Mickey Waffle yet, but let me tell you, the waffles that you sent us yesterday, that picture, they look so delicious and so perfect in their own way. They look like little Stroop waffles. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the Dutch Stroop waffles, that's what I had to think about. So, let's do this. Close it up. Um, give it a little time before you flip it. Just to make sure that it won't be smudged all over the place. Something about this, yeah. So, a couple of seconds before you flip it. So don't do, don't add the batter and then right away when you finished flip it. No, just give it a little time to set in. A little, a little, I mean, what I mean by time is a couple of seconds. Maybe three or four seconds. Look, this is how they will come out. They're really crunchy, you can tell. They're not as, uh, 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 how do you say that? Um, as flappy as, as the first time that we tried them. And um, another thing that I need to say is I think Mike... You went for the half? Half of the batter. Half yeah. of the bad half of the recipe, because last time we ended up about uh, what amount, what went toward 30. That was a little bit too much. Uh, so this time we just made the half of that same recipe that we, we gave we you. We did eat it, though. We did eat it, yeah, of course. Eating it is not the problem. It's oh. too delicious. And guys, one thing, I wouldn't go for the, um, for the Mickey recipe, uh, for, for the Mickey, um, for the Disney recipe. Look, I can't get over how beautiful they came out. It's so cute. Let's hope it tastes good. Yeah, why That's wouldn't it? That's the most important part. True, 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 true. Perfect. They look like those souvenirs that you buy at the parks. Yeah, like the fridge magnets. One. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they're real, let me tell you that. <laughs> Anna, awesome. One other thing with the batter. The longer it sits, you know, because we're, we're busy making them, the thicker it gets. So if yours gets really thick, depending on how the temperature is around you, uh, try to keep a lid on it. If it gets thick, maybe add just a tiny bit of lukewarm water in there. Not too much though, because you don't want to spoil the amount of proportions that we have in here. Together, the, the, the form this bit better, so, but not too much, but just a tiny bit. Just to get it in, um, uh, um, um, in how you started with it. So we just finished the last bit of the batter. One uh, last thing that I want to say about this, before, if, if it gets thick, if your batter gets thick because it's, it's, it sits there longer while you're busy making the Mickey waffles. What I just said about adding a little bit of tiny lukewarm water, do that only after you've been stirring this. Keep stirring it the whole time. Don't let it just sit there while you're busy. Keep stirring it every time, stirring it every time. And if it still is a little bit thick, only then add a tiny bit of lukewarm water. But you will find that stirring it all the time really helps to keep the batter uh, um, going. I feel like some sort of a Mickey factory to see all these Mickey heads laying here, piling up every time. It's traumatizing. It's, it's traumatizing. If you have any kids, keep them away from this site. It's horrible. No, just kidding. They're delicious. They're delicious. Mm. Guys, we can't stress this enough. Please go for this recipe. It's perfect. It's really perfect. Just delicious. I know, we've shared with you this fountain, or what's supposed to be a fountain many times. But every time me and Mike get to this place, we just we cannot suppress the, the feeling we have inside of how annoyed we are that it's not working. It never works. It's never on, never works. So although it's called a fountain, I think it's more fair to call it, to just call it um, a statue, something.
So he was trying to, that's what he says in Dutch. So these are two heads. They're supposed to have no gender. Although the, you can clearly see that they're feminine. At least I think that's what I understood from the story. But they're connected by this waterfall in between them. And uh, he said that he was trying to go for the look of an... You see it? I see it. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. It's beautiful? beautiful? I know. I mean, the artistic aspect of this work is just... It has no value. <laughs> so he said he was trying to go for the look that looks decayed so that when tourists look by, they won't be able to pinpoint from what year this fountain, quote, end quote, um, was created. Fountain that, that worked for two weeks. The f right? Yeah. It's terrible. Then it flooded this whole area. It flooded this whole area and then they just closed it all together. Maybe that's the reason why Amsterdam has no fountain. I think so. And again, at this point, it's really not fair to call it a, a fountain. It's just an art artwork. And I was saying to Mike, since I know that the, the previous queen, Queen uh, Princess Beatrix, the queen mother, she's very good in making these, these kind of stuff. And I said to Mike, wouldn't it have been awesome to uh, have her make something for this, this square since it's close to the palace? Because look, there's the dam square. That's where the palace is standing. It would have been a nice connection to have the palace and something from the the royal house standing here. So there you have it.